Hey kids welcome to fun learning. This video is all about layers and structure of earth. In this video we will be learning about I can describe the structure of the earth's interior. I can relate the structure of the earth's interior to plate tectonics. I can explain the convection currents that power plate movement. Get ready to dig deep, gang, and join us on a fascinating journey to the center of the Earth. Essential question, how are layers of the Earth different from one another? Did you know? The Earth has multiple layers. The Earth is made up of three main layers. Crust, mantle, and core. Think of the layers of the Earth like the layers of a cake. Crust crust is further divided into two. Oceanic crust and continental crust. The Earth's crust is like the skin of an apple. In-depth teaching about the plates and their movement will occur in the next essential question. Thinnest layer of the Earth. Made up of large amounts of silicon and aluminum. Composed of plates on which the continents and oceans rest. These ride over molten mantle. Crust is part of the lithosphere. Two types of crust, oceanic and continental. Here a continental versus oceanic crust. The lithosphere. The crust and the upper layer of the mantle together make up a zone of rigid, brittle rock called the lithosphere. The lithosphere, crust and upper mantle, is divided into separate plates which move very slowly in response to the convecting part of the mantle. Made from the crust and upper mantle. Litho means stone in Greek. This is the layer in which we live because it contains the oceanic and continental crust. Here is the example. The upper cream is the crust. The base is the lithosphere. The crust of the earth is broken into many pieces called plates. The plates float on the soft, semi-rigid asthenosphere. Mantle. The upper mantle. Convection currents. And lower mantle. The mantle is the largest layer of the earth at 2,900 kilometers thick. The middle mantle is composed of very hot dense rock that flows like asphalt under a heavy weight. The movement of the middle mantle, asthenosphere, is the reason that the crustal plates of the earth move. The asthenosphere. The asthenosphere is the semi-rigid part of the middle mantle that flows like hot asphalt under a heavy weight. The asthenosphere, weak sphere, is a soft layer of the mantle on which pieces of the lithosphere move. It is made of solid rock that, like putty, flows slowly at about the same rate your fingernails grow. Here is the example. Crust. Lithosphere. Asthenosphere. Convection currents. The middle mantle flows because of convection currents. Convection currents are caused by the very hot material at the deepest part of the mantle rising being less dense, then cooling becoming more dense and sinking again, repeating this cycle over and over. The movement of the lithospheric plates and the convection currents will be covered more in depth during the next essential question. Core. Outer core inner core. Let's get the details of the outer core. Composition. Molten, liquid, metal that is about 4,700 degrees Celsius. Thickness, 2,266 kilometers, 1,400 miles. State of matter. Composed of the melted metals nickel and iron, liquid, located about 1,800 miles beneath the crust. Inner core. Solid sphere made mostly of iron and has nickel. It is believed to be as hot as 6,650 degrees Celsius, 12,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat in the core generated by the radioactive. 
it is solid because of the pressure from the outer core, mantle, and crust compressing it. Further the thickness, 1,271 kilometers, 800 miles. Here is the illustration. What do these two images tell us about the layers of the Earth? Let have a closer look. Here temperature increases as depth increases. Now look at this. It shows. Density and pressure increase as depth increases. Temperature, density and pressure increases as depth increases. Which layer of the Earth has the greatest temperature, pressure, and density? Core. How far have scientists drilled into the Earth? It's 7.6 miles only 0.2% of the distance to the Earth's core. It's only liquid layer, made up of liquid iron and nickel. This layer creates the Earth's magnetic field. Temperatures can reach up to 2200 C. Inner core the center of Earth. Made up of scorching hot iron and nickel. This layer stays solid though due to intense pressure. This layer may also contain oxygen, sulfur and silicon. Temperatures range between 9000 C and 13000 C. How do scientists know about the interior of the Earth? There are two forms of evidence. Direct evidence from rock samples. Direct evidence from seismic waves. Can you name the different layers of the Earth? Number a piece of paper 1 to 5 and write the name of each layer. Inner core. Outer core. Third is lower mantle. Fourth is upper mantle. Last is crust. Here is the big idea. The Earth is divided into three main layers crust mantle and core. Main rock type of the two types of crust oceanic and continental. Oceanic crust is denser than continental crust. The lithosphere is divided into tectonic plates. The mantle has the convection currents which causes the plates to move. The asthenosphere flows semi-liquid on which the plates move. Temperature, pressure, and density increases as depth increases. This is a direct relationship. I hope you have learnt a lot thanks for watching.